welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today's face is brought to you mostly because of this palette, my palette of the month for September, the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions. I'm using, I've used this shade here on my eyes. And the rest is my Shop My Stash and Project Pan products. Everything will be listed down in the description box below. Otherwise, just keep on watching. As you can see, I'm still using the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer in the pump uh, container. I like it. It's affordable. And it feels nice on the skin. Now, this we're really getting low on, and it's really getting dry, so. But, being the completest that I am, I wanna use it until it's done. But it is getting harder to spread between my two fingers. on that side of my eye. As you can see, it's kind of flaking a little bit. So yeah, but I have really probably only two or three uses left, so might as well just use it up. And my OG or HG Holy Grail Illuminator Glow Baby by AOA Studio. I have to cap this into tub soon because it's getting hard to squeeze out. So I think I'm gonna do that after this video. So I'll put it over there so it reminds me to do so. My CoverGirl, the CoverGirl Clean Liquid Foundation in 135 Medium Light. Getting low on this, but we are at the widest part of the bottle. So I'll we'll just mix those together on my palette, like so. I gotta clean this palette. Oop. I do love about mixing those two is the Glow Baby gives the CoverGirl foundation a nice light serum-y feel. But yeah, it still has coverage. Enough coverage that I like. I don't like too much coverage anymore. I find that uh, super high coverage foundations when you're getting closer to 50 just make you look older because they go into every crease and crevice. And well, we don't need that too. No, we don't. Okay. So I got my CoverGirl Clean Powder in the same shade as my foundation. Just going to set. The eyes, eyelids, and underneath the eyes. And round it out. I'm going to take a big brush and dust the face. Just enough to take down the glazed donut effect. <laughs> I'm 
you still get a nice, more ethereal glow than a glazed donut glow, which is more my jam. <laughs> And then my bronzer is the Body Shop Honey Bronzer in Dark Copper Matte. And I'm using a fluffy brush. Not quite as fluffy as my powder, but this is from Monge. 874, I got these off uh, Amazon. because it is kind of a darker bronzer. It's part of my shop mustache for September. I'm going it with a light hand. Because I'm, my tan is fading, so I don't have the tan I had in July, August. And this one is the Catrice Blush Box Waterproof. Water and Sweat Proof Run the World br uh, Blush and Berry. And this is the Focular Face Highlighter in Gold. It is a cream highlighter. Don't need a lot. Because again, I'm going for that ethereal glow, not glazed donut. And then A plus oil control setting spray. And getting down. I don't know how much longer this is gonna last. Probably be just a couple more um, And I'm going for more, for a more natural lifted look than a exaggerated lifted look these days. Okay, so I. My palette of the month is the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette. I am on eyeshadow amethyst number six, which is this dark one. So this will be fun. <laughs> I'm a little scared, <laughs> but it is a shimmer. So <laughs> we'll see how she goes. Ooh, kind of purry. I mean, it's not, a sh it's not like a full on shimmer, it's more of a satin. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Take my 
switch. Take off some of that so I can blend. Okay, got a little bit of a pinkier undertone, which is nice. And do the other side. Pretty pigmented. I'm not digging my brush into these shadows at all. I like that because it makes it look like I used two different shadows. And it's just the one. So we're going to take the other end of this two sided brush from. Urban Decay Naked. I think it was part of the Naked 3 palette. This flatter side and just amp up purple in the middle of the lid. We want most of the attention to be on the lid. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So far I've got this eyeshadow palette. Well, I mean, I guess this is kind of going to be a spoiler, but it may change. But so far I've got this palette ranked last out of all the palettes I've used this year. But this eyeshadow color, this shadow, and the shadow I used, the, shim, the glitter shadow I used before this, changing my mind a little bit. I may have to move it up the ladder, but we'll see. There's a little tease. May happen, may not. We'll see. We'll see how other shadow palettes um, perform. Rest of the year. I was checking out some of my analytics and my videos that have to do with price, like the, the cost of my skincare regime. Wow. <laughs> that one's a popular one. And uh, I mean, for being a micro channel. It's a popular one. And then the other one was, um, oh, well, what would I buy if I had to start out or get a brand new makeup kit from the drugstore? That one did pretty good too. You guys are budget conscious. Well, it is, that is the uh, situation we're in right now, isn't it? With the uh, economy. So doesn't it, it makes sense. So seeing how those did so well, I am definitely thinking that I might do makeup kits for every budget, a diff, uh, selection of different brands, but at a certain budget, like $25, $50. Uh, no, $25 in Canada is not going to get you far. <laughs> $50 is probably like $25 in the United States will get you pretty far. $25 in Canada, not so much. That'll get you a base. Foundation, concealer, powder. That's all $25 will get you here. Unless you go to the dollar store, which I could do that too. 
Um, I do have some Dollar Store makeup that I get to try and see if it's worth even buying. But you know, if you're, I mean, if you're a teenager and you're just getting into makeup, and I mean, especially in Canada, drugstore makeup is not cheap anymore. You know, I mean, Wet n Wild is sold at Dollarama here in Canada. Wet n Wild's a good brand. Um, granted, it's older Wet n Wild products, but it's still. Um, Dollar Tree has Ioni, and they're getting further into more makeup products than just lashes. Um, and I think the certain brands are sold at Dollar Tree as well. And then uh, uh, I've got some. I got. I did get a couple of um, five pan eyeshadow palettes from the from Dollarama in, in their house brand. I guess it's a brand I've never heard of, but uh, I could try them out and see if they're worth buying for you know a twenty five dollar makeup budget for like a teenager, you know, just starting out in makeup. Um, they don't have a whole that the only problem with Dollar is they don't have a whole lot of foundations and they certainly would not have the the um, shade range that you'd need. But then you could go to Shoppers Drug Mart and pick out Essence or I'd probably pick Essence over Annabelle only because Essence is a little less expensive. Um, and I haven't tried any of their foundations, either Annabelle's or Essence's yet. I've tried their um, the mascaras, I've tried their fat eyeshadows, I've tried uh, their lash primer, that sort of thing. Um, I haven't tried yet their eyebrow stuff, but I have tried some things from Essence. So I'd probably go, or, or if you can find Wet, uh, Wet n Wild, I'd go with them. Because I have tried their foundations, and they're good. So, I think what I could do is just, yeah, put together a bunch of different budget levels and see what it gets you in cash <laughs> and go from there. It might be a good, it might be a popular series given that we're in this uh, ec economy right now. People are looking for, you know, less expensive options in certain things. I mean, there's certain things that are your holy grail and you'll always repurchase. Granted, right? But for things, certain things, you don't have to spend a lot of money on them to get good product. So, uh, yeah. How's that for a tangent you, never, you didn't ask for? <laughs> uh, trying to get my lashes and not my eyelids. Here we go. This is the, speaking of Essence, the Volume Booster Lash Primer. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a polarizing product. Um, some people like it, some people don't, but I don't think it's like a love-hate sort of polarizing product. Um, it's not a step you desperately need, and it's not a step I included in um, the basic makeup kit. Because it is an extra. You know, just like eyebrows. Eyebrows are extra. Lash primers are extra. I mean, setting sprays really are extra, but they do help if you need to wear your, you know, or if you need your makeup to stay all day, they do help. But they're not a necessity. Like absolute startup necessity, but they are they are good to have, especially if you work eight-hour shifts and need it, your makeup to last that long without breaking down. And especially if you're in a humid climate, of an oily complexion, so on and so forth. This is the smoothing lip liner pencil in. Number 53. Amy. The Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara from Essence. Pretty nice. I like it. I've had more expensive mascaras that I didn't like. I've had more expensive mascaras that I liked. This is the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. I mean, yes, you, you'd think that if you're putting a primer on, you'd put it first, right? Well, because this is black, I actually use it as. I 
top layer and lower lash mascara. So the bond is thin and um, Emily Noel said that it keeps your la uh, mascaras from flaking. So if you have a flaky mascara, put the Estee Lauder little black primer over top. Now, if you know a, a certain brand is flaky, you're not probably not going to buy it. But if you're kind of if you have a mascara that you bought and it's flaky, put a ma another mascara that's not flaky over top. I mean, you don't have to go out and buy the little black primer. I just I buy it because. I use it for more than just a, a top coat. I also use it on my bottom lashes and the and innermost lashes. It's just a bonus that it keeps other mascaras from flaking. Well, until it starts to flake. <laughs> There's always that. Once it starts flaking, then you know it's 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 done and time to get a new one. But that's just me. I like the layered effect. Just kind of giving natural, natural false lash effect. I wouldn't say it gives like a full out false lash effect, but it does. Okay, so we do this one and then carob over top. Let's try it out. This is Dragon liquid lipstick. No name. And I think the O oh, O oh two. It's just a number. It is a pretty magenta shade. However, a little bold to be wearing. It's all alone with this eye look, so we're gonna Build it down a little bit. Make it more into a pinky nude. So this is the Avon Ultra Moisture Rich Ugh, Lipstick in Cherub. On its own, it is kind of a concealer lips lipstick, but it's perfect for. Throwing down a bold lipstick for a more wearable look for this eyeshadow we have going today. <laughs> so, mm, just trying to decide if I want more blush. Yeah, never good. So, I'm going to. Oh, I almost forgot to put my fragrance on. Dark Joe Beverly Hills. Not done until you've got your fragrance. Getting down and harder to spray. Can you believe I'm gonna actually pan a full fragrance this year? Like, look at that. Look at that. It's almost done. It was a nice trip down memory lane. I used to have this scent in high school. So I'm going to do my hair, get get out of my jammies. <laughs> And I'll be right back. Oh, and I already got lipstick on my Invisalign. Awesome. I'm back. Hair's done. All dressed. And uh, if you like these Get Ready With Me videos, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see where my Huda Beauty is ranked in my uh, palette ranking video next year. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to be notified when another video goes up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.